Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah, yeah. We're ready to go. Okay. Mommy is hungry. Good morning, guys. I am in my car, which means we're doing a day in the life. I am, if you're new, what's the update on my pregnancy? I'm 23 weeks and like three, two days, I don't know. But baby is kicking like crazy, mostly when I eat, which is totally normal. And I've had like cravings for sweets lately. It's been out like, all I want is just, but I want savory at the same time. So it has to be like a sweet savory thing. Like, I don't know. Like I may have craved mashed potatoes and chocolate cake yesterday. I did not eat them together though, don't worry, but you know. So it's Monday and we are on our way to the grocery store. So I really like going to the grocery stores on Mondays. I just don't feel like they're that busy, especially because today is the first day back to school in our area. So a lot of moms are dropping off their kids. I kind of get the grocery store to myself. And yeah, I am hoping I can stay under budget, especially because I did dinner late. No, I didn't. I did Home Chef this week. Dinner late meals just haven't been like appetizing to me lately. Even though it's cheaper, I just, I don't know. It's like a $10 difference to me um, because you have to pay for shipping over there, which for Home Chef, you don't have to pay for shipping. So um, I'm getting my Home Chef order tomorrow, but that takes care of three days. So I only have to cook for the other, Four days. <laughs> I like can't think. I'm like, uh, how many days are in a week? I'm really trying to budget this year and just get better at it, especially with a baby coming and just live a more like minimalist lifestyle. I I reckon I've actually kind of lived that, but we can get into the habit of spending as well. So um, I kind of did a no spend last week, but we went on a date, so that was kind of canceled out. But I looked on Pinterest and there was like five dollar like dinners and then of course i need to buy stuff for aria so she can eat even though she's a picky eater we're really getting on her about like eating healthy food so it's weird but we've had to feed her the same thing for like a week so like breakfast she gets a chocolate waffle with her like fruit snacks and um the gerber puffs that's been her breakfast for lunch we do like chips with like some um ham and you know crackers and then dinner she kind of just eats what we eat as long as there's no sauce because she I think she has a sensory issue when it comes to food because if anything is wet or just doesn't feel right to her she won't even touch it she like doesn't want to eat it so this is beyond a picky eater like there's picky eaters and then there's my child who still eats like a baby and it's just it frustrates me so bad because I try so hard to feed her but I'm at the grocery store I'm gonna eat my we got Starbucks real quick so I got a vanilla latte just a grande um, and a bacon gouda sandwich so I'm gonna eat that before I go in because I'm starving I had toast this morning just so I can have my prenatal vitamins but that like did not fill me up Down below. This one. With the purple letters. No? Okay. <sighs> okay, just got home. Dude, I am so tired. <laughs> and I don't know why, like, my round ligament pain is totally active. I don't know why I'm pregnant. I know why. But... <laughs> Aria did well for the most part of the storage stuff for at the end she decided to like take off running I literally had to just like leave the cart with everything inside and run after her So that was fun. And then these guys were like laughing at me. So I was like, thanks, dude I did go eight dollars over budget. I know exactly where I did it at two So I got Eric drinks these from Starbucks the canned refreshers and they had them there So I just got him those because he gets them at Starbucks anyways and they were like a little bit cheaper at the store um, this way too if he's ever running late to work he can easily just grab one and it's one less stop um, or on his days off so that's why I did that so we should save money and the fact that he's like not going to Starbucks to buy him um, but it did put me over my grocery budget just a little bit I'll show you guys everything else I bought um, I'm just waiting for her waffle to be done because she's kind of hungry and she decided she wanted to chill in her high chair, um, which gives me time to put everything away, so I'm not even mad at her. Okay, so on Sundays, I go through and I make my list of everything that we're going to be making for the week. If it's in purple, that means it's either my dinnerly or basically my meal kit. So this week, it's my home chef meal kit. This one I was unsure about for Eric because it comes with grits, so I did get 
noodles um just in case he wants to put the shrimp over noodles instead of over grits because i'm not sure if he likes grits okay so these are things we keep in our house all the time so i got regular butter some eggs um we usually do bacon but i was craving sausage orange juice especially because i've been using those for my protein shake so these is like so good i always try to get meal kits i split them up for like lunch and dinner um Aria's fries we get fresh fruit for smoothies and just kind of have for snacks um, everything I need for dinner, so tomato soup, some tortillas, cheese, chili powder, ground turkey, um, the penne noodles, ground beef, mushrooms, cream of mushroom, um, enchiladas, sour cream. So we're doing enchiladas, beef stroganoff, and um, chili. Then this is my favorite bread in the whole wide world, so I do sourdough bread. These I love to put in smoothies um, as my Greek yogurt as a base. I just love to do that. Some salami because I already have cheese for a snack. Like I said, Eric's drinks. Um, I just needed to restock on the hoisin sauce. Um, bagels for a quick lunch. Um, oh yeah, that goes for dinner for the stroganoff. Aria's waffles. Um, we wanted to try these. She picked them out, so I hopefully she'll eat them. But they're little chicken nuggets, but they're in the shape of alphabets. Um, I love the cereal, and then I'm hoping she'll like this. It's just noodles with cheese, but she might not like it because of the sauce. And then for these, I actually split these up because she doesn't eat one in a serving, so this is good for like two days. Um, I always get a soda <laughs> before I leave, and then these are her favorite, like, Gerber puffs. So that's kind of how I shop. I just kind of get like house staples that we always use and then I just kind of switch up our dinners and then lunches. We kind of just snack during lunch. Eric works a lot so he's always like getting lunch at work or I just eat the leftovers from dinner the night before because it's so hard to shop for just two people especially because Aria doesn't really eat so we always have leftovers the next day so I don't like to shop a lot for lunches. Um, so like I said I'll get like salami and cheese for snacks or I'll do like mixed nuts or something like that. So I'm, I've been thinking about doing like a what I eat in the day. Sometimes we're so busy and I don't always eat the healthiest and then Aria like never eats. <laughs> I just, I don't know if I should like do one, but let me know if you guys are curious just to kind of see like what I eat in a day, um, especially like being pregnant. I'm going into my third trimester. So I'm really like trying to be more conscious of what I eat, but I'm not like super healthy whatsoever, but we try to mix like processed food with home cooked meals. Okay, it's your waffles, it's cooling off right now. Okay, baby. So one really nice bonding thing I love to do is just things around the house with Aria. She is such a big helper for only being two. She loves to help me clean and she loves to help me cook. So today we are doing a crock pot chili and I thought this was perfect for her since all we have to do is throw in some cans, stir it up and put a lid on it and she had so much fun. So if you have a little one that loves to do things with you, I definitely recommend letting them help you when it comes to being in the kitchen. A lot of times as a mom we can get so stressed out that we have so much much to do in a day but having your little ones there to help just kind of makes everything a little bit better. Let me know in the comments below if you have your kids help you cook as well. Alright I want to take a nap a little early which is fine. I'm hoping to get her to bed before everyone comes to um work on the house and stuff but that protein shake I have been addicted to protein shakes I actually randomly Raina started on Instagram doing like um, protein shakes in the morning or just like any type of smoothie or anything like that and so I take a prenatal protein because I am iron deficient and so that really helps with that and then I just get like my extra supplements and stuff um, it was approved by my OBGYN so um, some of you on Instagram have asked about it I'll link it down below again I get it off of Amazon I think it's like $35 for four pound um, and it's lasted me a while the only recommendation was <laughs> not to start it until you're like two weeks or two weeks until your second trimester so um, which is like 12 weeks well, I put her to bed and then probably have like a snack a little bit later people are gonna start to think all I do is strap her into that high chair but she's eating again so and she wants to go in the high chair we don't just keep her in there all the time but my chili is done so I just wanted to show you guys this is what it looks like I did add more turkey meat to it um, and another can of black beans 
So if you want to do it, it's super easy. You just do two cans of black beans, tomato soup, brushed tomatoes. I made a mistake and I got whole tomatoes. And then I would do two packs of the chili seasoning because after tasting it, I had to add more stuff to it. Um, so I just usually add like pepper, garlic um, powder, and some taco seasoning. And then I use, did I already say ground turkey? I used ground turkey. Um, but yeah, it's one of those like five ingredients or less meals. It's super yummy, super filling. I was supposed to do it with bread bowls, but Aria started getting um, super crazy. And so <laughs> I just got the sourdough bread um, instead of the bread bowls because I just forgot at that point. I'm just all over the place right now. I need to go. I should have taken a nap with her. I was editing our potty training vlog. Oh, which as I'm editing the vlog, she tells me she wakes up from her nap. She's in a super good mood. She tells me she has to go potty. So I brought the potty into the office with me so she can sit down next to me um, and try to go because there's nothing else I could really do. So she's like reading her books and stuff. So she did end up going number two. And then she like didn't go number one um and so i let her like run around for five minutes and then i told her to sit on a potty so she sits there and i'm literally editing where it's like oh don't freak out if your child <laughs> um like goes or makes an accident but she is jumping up from the potty running around in a circle saying mom poop mom poop and that's her word for like she doesn't say pee everything is like i have to poop and so i'm trying to like sit her down on the potty so i keep sitting her down she keeps getting up running around in a circle and then all of a sudden she starts to go as she's running in a circle so i like sat her down on the toilet Ugh, it was just a mess i'm like of course the irony of me like giving potty training tips and my child's over here running around like a mad woman but um i hope you guys enjoyed those potty training videos and that it helped you guys out if you didn't see it i'll go ahead and link it down below but that is all for the day dinner is done the people never came so i'm just gonna clean up my house a little bit and relax and then go pick up eric in like an hour so we can eat but as always guys i love you thank you for spending the day with me i feel so good coming back to vlogging so thank you guys for letting me take that little break i definitely needed it and enjoyed it but i love you and i will see you in my next video Bye.